what's going on guys welcome back to the channel this is where i like to take a second to remind you guys to hit the subscribe button ring the bell for future uploads like and comment on this video all right guys next up on the turntable we've got a 1956 ford f100 this is a brand new casting Everything is uh, still in mint condition. So it should be uh, nice and easy to uh, do a nice little custom on this. This is going to be my entry for Hanson's Speed Shop uh, Budget Gasser Build. One of the main rules for the build off was to build the gasser on a $5 budget. Meaning, everything used to uh, build the car could only total five dollars. In other words, you know, if you do a wheel swap, you gotta factor in how much those wheels would cost. Um, you know, you've got to kind of factor in your paint cost, the actual cost of your car. In this case, you know, it's a dollar, so. With that being said, I'm already a dollar in the hole and four dollars left to work with, so I'll see what I can come up with. I think it's going to be a fun challenge. Definitely going to be a challenge, but uh, I think I should be able to uh, come up with something pretty neat, pretty cool. Like I said, this is a brand new casting, so everything is in good shape. I will uh, definitely do a wheel swap on this one not sure uh, exactly if I'm going to do much with the interior not too crazy about the red glass but uh yeah I'm gonna try to make it work with what I got got in mind for it so uh, stick around we get this thing pulled apart maybe we'll take a look at it then either way I'll be back with some more progress Okay, I've got it pulled apart now. Just want to show you guys what I'm working with a little bit more in depth. We've got a chrome interior. Obviously, we're going to have to do something with that. It's got the uh, engine connected to it. I have to detail that up a little bit. Uh, the chassis, we're going to have to modify that to uh, turn this bad boy into a gasser. Glass, we're just going to leave red. And then you can see I've got the body stripped down back here. It's a brand new casting like I mentioned, so it's pretty clean. It does have its usual uh, casting lines that we'll have to clean up. And it's got some right across the top here. And then right across the front of the truck there you can kind of see the casting line there. Other than that, it looks pretty good. Shouldn't take much to clean those up and uh, I'm gonna get this thing underway all right guys like always here's a little bit of progress footage for you to check out you can see I've got the chassis painted ready to go I've got it mocked up so it can accept these m2 wheels and turn it into a gasser it's still got some uh, Still got to add some gasser details, if you will, to that chassis. You'll see on the finished product what I mean. As of now, though, like I said, it is ready to go. Ready to accept those M2 axles. These are the wheels we're going to go with. Skinny's in the front, fat slicks in the back. See, I got the body primed up, ready to go glass is brand new we won't have to do anything to that and then you can see here I've taped off some of the interior give it a nice matte black finish I did leave the uh, steering wheel chrome left the uh, stuff in the back the uh, wheel wells in the back you'll be able to see through the back glass that chrome back there thought that would just give it a little bit of a unique look as well as obviously leaving the uh, engine pieces chrome. Still going to do a little bit of detail to that. 
and uh, we're gonna go from there all right guys here we are with the gasser finished and man I gotta say this thing is looking awesome so awesome in fact I have disqualified this particular piece from the uh, Hanson's $5 budget build because if you can't tell by looking at it already I just kind of blew it out of proportion um, kind of got carried away on the build and just really couldn't stop I just kept coming up with uh, ideas and things that I wanted to add to it so this this build is no longer going to be the one for the uh, Hanson's $5 budget gasser build but that's okay I did start another car I do have that car finished and ready to go ahead of schedule as I always like to do but um yeah I mentioned in that video that I was disqualifying myself with this piece for that particular build but uh yeah the other one is done ready to go and uh that's a whole nother video so we'll get to talking about this one a little bit you know like I said I just went crazy with it added the um headlights the rear uh brake lights and the uh that crazy wheelie bar there the um, willy bar is uh, custom made the set of wheels on the willy bar I took off of a uh, the front end of a dragster and then of course uh, put the decals and everything on it which you know originally I was gonna just leave this uh, truck in primer gray you know just to keep the cost of the build down and also uh, you know a lot of a lot of the gassers were kind of like that back in the 50s and 60s so that's what I originally was going to go with but once everything else kind of started going in other directions I ended up stripping it back down and putting a uh, a matte black primer down up underneath this metallic this is actually a metallic champagne you know I've mentioned to you guys before it's really hard to see these metallics that I use a lot of times I mean you can see it if you're really looking um, on video um, but in real life man these things are absolutely gorgeous they look really great uh, especially if you take them out into the sun but uh, either way got a lot of uh engine detail going on there i got some wires kind of hanging up out of there just to give it that extra detail and realistic look also painted the um the breather up top you know when i started this car i you know it's got that red windshield on it and i absolutely hate when they color these windshields i mean I don't know just put a clear one in it if you're gonna if you can't think of anything else whatever either way so you know I try to work with those colored windshields when I have to use those typically I've gotten lately to where I try to shy away from those but this was the particular one I had chose for that build so I was just playing off of it you know with all the red stuff the brake lights the uh, that's why I made the headlights on the front red and went with some of the red decals painted the breather red and then I you know I had that red wire to you know make the wires with so you know like I said I was just playing off of that red windshield so uh, but I think it turned out really great um, again you know it's got the red stripe on the tires on the front uh, tires there and uh, you guys saw at the beginning of the video I had those um, fat slicks for the back of the truck you know that matched the front they both came off of a m2 car that i had picked up for a dollar and it was a premium car but uh you know i got it on clearance either way i had a lot of trouble with the wheels and i was beyond the point of uh you know modifying that chassis anymore to to take those wheels i mean they were just if they'd have been just a you know a sixteenth of an inch 
you know, smaller or thinner, they probably would have worked. But either way, not a big deal. I just uh, moved on and put on this set of um, monoblock wheels that I had laying around. Obviously, that jumped the price of the build up, just, just those wheels alone. So, uh, you know, that and all the additional things that I did to it, especially the decals and the gems, you know, for the headlights and stuff. You know, it just, it took the build way beyond $5, so, you know, I'm not going to try to pass it off as a $5 budget build because that just wouldn't be right. Um, but anyway, got some pretty cool decals, got the Holly, the Edelbrock. The cool Ford one on the back there. The bottom says Piper Cams. Of course, it's got my channel logo decals. You know, again, this is another car where I have Goodyear decals on it, and then the back tires are Michelin tires. Personally, in my opinion, I don't care. I think it looks awesome. You know, some people it might bother them, but you know, whatever. It's my build. So, uh, that's what I had, that's what I used, and to be honest with you, I'm kind of glad that uh, I went uh, went this route with it because I think it looks just killer that way. Um, you know, and I've seen some gassers like that before. But, uh, so with that being said, it also prompted me to do the same thing with the other gasser that I'm building for the $5 budget build. And uh, I think those turned out great, and I think uh, they look really good on that one too, the way I did it. But uh, you guys will see that soon. I think that video drops on July 25th. Uh, yeah, detailed the, uh, the interior. You guys saw that earlier with the uh, matte black on the seats and stuff, and a little bit of the uh, console there. And then... Uh, got the chrome detail on the front grille and the front bumper and then I'll give you guys a little bit better shot of this wheelie bar I thought it came out really cool very happy with the outcome of that and then you know I just got it glued to the bottom of the car nothing spectacular and then uh, you can see the custom exhaust there I put on it. A little bit of detail on the uh, chassis there. Other than that, guys, I think it uh, pretty much speaks for itself. This was a uh, really fun build. I'm glad I entered the challenge. Because now I have two cars from the one challenge. But uh, either way, this video is dragging on. And you guys know I don't like to do that. So get up out of here. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Hit the like button. And I will catch you on the next one. Peace.